everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Stephanie, the lead technician with my Alarm Guy 559. And today I'm going to show you how you can log on to your alarm.com desktop version so you can make edits and tweaks to your existing recording rules with video analytics. Let's get started. Once you're logged on to your desktop version and you're still within the automation rules, where you left off, you'll see your camera rules are established. Now with them on, you're gonna see a pencil icon right next to the trash icon. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how you can change or edit that current recording rule for one of your cameras. So for this purpose, we're gonna go ahead and edit the indoor camera. So you're just gonna press that little pencil icon and it's gonna go ahead and utilize your Wi-Fi to establish that preview. Uh, this is an indoor camera, so we're going to leave the scenery indoors and we're going to leave the size object as suggested and hit next. I'm also going to leave the rule name the same, but this is where you would change that actual camera rule. And for video analytics, you can set up to three recording rules per camera. I only need one for this one. And so here's a current uh, ground zone I have. Uh, set up for the camera. If I did want to create a new one or if I didn't quite like the shape, of course you can drag and drop various parts of uh, where these little connecting buttons make your grid or lines. Or you could always clear ground zone and you can create a new one. Um, sometimes I see little critters on my patio. And so it's kind of up to you how you want to set this up. <laughs> um, so maybe that might be entertaining. So the way this works is duration inside area of interest. Anytime a person or animal um, is within this ground zone for three seconds minimum, it'll start to record a, a trigger or clip. So you can always increase or decrease this amount right here. You scroll down a little bit. Um, the minimum delay between clips, I'm actually going to leave at 30 seconds because this is an indoor camera. It's not set to record too often. Um, if it does record the way I have it set up, it's going to run the rule at all times, except when the panel is disarmed. Um, I'm also going to make an edit to this to where if the system detects that my, me or my husband's cell phones are within the geo service bounds, it will not set to record, um, meaning the only time it will record is when the panel is set in arm stay or arm away. Um, so therefore, with the exception, even if it's in arm stay and our phones are within bounds, it's not gonna record in case, you know, we're waking up early and may not look the most presentable <laughs> for our recording, so to speak. So this is how I'm going to make that adjustment to my current recording. Um, the set minimum delay between clips, I'm gonna leave at 30 seconds, but if you do have an outdoor camera, you can actually uh, increase the delay. So if you're noticing that you're going way above your budgeted clips per month, you could always increase the minimum delay between clips, uh, extending the capacity you have for safe clips. So scroll down. And what this section does is it's gonna show you uh, how you can make adjustments to actually receiving those notifications of recorded clips. So right now, if a clip contains a person or an animal, it's gonna send both me and my husband push notifications, text notifications, and email notifications. So for the purpose of this edit, uh, me personally, I'm receiving way too many emails, way too many text messages, um, as it goes with some other camera feeds. Um, but for this purpose and demonstration, I'm gonna show you that you can just go ahead and uncheck those. What I like to do is I like to leave the push notifications set here. The reason being is with alarm.com, when you get set a push notification, with a thumbnail of a clip, you can actually open that notification and it'll take you directly into the app and show you where that saved clip is. Um, so it's a neat feature, um, great functionality, and it limits the space it takes up on your phone through text message or through email. 
Of course, this will record uh, any person, vehicle, animal, or any kind of other weird uh, moving shaped object, but you're only gonna get a notification if it's a person or an animal, because that's what I care about the most. Um, and because I do have automation set up with my account, you're gonna see other rules here that are designed if you have light bulbs, um, automated outlets, anything that might correlate um, to give your home uh, more of a smart home feel. So I just have this preset, um, lights will turn on for five minutes when someone enters the recorded zone after sunset. Meaning, if the system is armed away or armed stay and we're gone for some reason, and it's dark, the light I have in my room, which the stream's been disconnected, but that's fine. The light I have in my room will actually turn on, enabling a better view and recorded view of an animal or a person inside my home. And all you gotta do is scroll to the bottom and just click the save button in the lower right-hand corner. Um, don't leave the screen until you see a little confirmation that this button turns green with a check mark. That way you know the rule has indeed saved. If you leave the screen too soon, it may not save your rule. So just be patient and bear with the time it takes. This is all contingent upon your Wi-Fi. So in regards to the app functionality, your Wi-Fi cameras and your desktop service, everything rises and falls on your uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, but it's as simple as that. That's how you can actually um, make an edit to your camera recording rules. And then of course, any other rule or automation you have associated with your account in which you need to make adjustments to, you're gonna find that in the automation tab with your pencil icon.